Hey guys, it's Kyra from my channel Kyra Milan and I'm doing another video. This video will be a unboxing slash put together slash review of a Fuji Film Instax 28 which I got for my birthday and if you want to see the other things I got for my birthday, I did a birthday haul slash intro video last week and I'll leave that in the description box below. So let's get started with the video. Hey guys, I'm back and let's get to unboxing. So I got mine from Best Buy and if you get by the camera by yourself, you're going back to buy some film, which I also brought. And um, this itself was, the film was about 20, well I have a receipt so the film was uh, it was, I got a 10 pack, a twin pack, and it was $19.99 with taxes of $1.40. And I got the camera, which was $59.99. It was on sale, so by $40, so it's about $99, I think. And for, the sales tax was $4.20. So that's around $100. And um, be careful dumping the stuff out because the camera's in here and you don't want to damage it slash break it so I'm gonna take it out first thing I see are a battery pack strap um it's kind of hard to get the camera out so I'm gonna get the like I think this is instructions 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 and warranty. I think. I don't know. I'm not going to go flipping through it and finding out. And obviously, the final thing I'm going to show you is the, the camera. So, first, I am going to pit. Um, first, I'm going to look at it. So, I know that it, this is this button right here is to open it up and get the camera out and there's uh this right there is the to see through this is to enter film that's just that right there is nothing you know how much film you have left um this is to put the batteries in uh the, these two holes are for the strap, so you can pick which side you want the strap on. Um, you can alternate and get the feel of it. So that's what I'm going to put my strap on first, and I'm going to figure out which side I like better. So to just, and this is to shoot the photo, and that indicates, like, what you're in. That'll tell you, like, let's... I'll explain it when I have it on because you'll be able to understand me a little bit more. So, I'm just going to take out my, going to take out my strap. <sighs> oh my god, why is it doing so hard? Got it. Oh, okay. So, this is kind of hard to do. But I don't think it'll be that hard. I'll be right back. The last time I had to do this with something, I used a needle. So I'll be back. I couldn't find a needle, so I experienced a way to do it. So I know it's probably gross, but you just put it in your mouth, lick it. It makes it easy to flip through. So then. You slip it through the slit, and it comes through. And then you stick it through the loop. It's a little bit different than the one that I've done before. 
kind of slip it. You slip this through there, I think. And that's what I think. Flip it over a little ball, which is kind of hard, and you got it. So there's where you want to take a picture. You go scratch this, look through, and yeah. Cute. And um, I kind of like this way because I am right-handed, but I will try the other way for people that are left-handed. And close it, you close it, and yeah. Um, uh, you just to get over it, you take the same thing as before and do it. Sorry if focus gets weird. My dog is kind of searching, like, what the freak is going on here? Why are you in my area? So I am in a new area because, um, I guess that I would test out some way. So you slip it over the ball and you take it out. So... You, you lick it again? You lick it, I say? You lick it. Yes. it through, It's kind of harder. I'm having a hard time doing it this way, so I'm just going to go back to the way I know. And it's probably going to be better for me anyway. It's a lot easier to slip it in through this way. A lot easier. On the way, the first way, on the way that I showed you first, it didn't have a problem after I lift it, like put it in my mouth. Um, I'm sorry that's really gross, but it is there. So, next thing I'm going to do is put my batteries in. So, you. Let me try to get the focus right there. You pull down, I think. Oh, yep, found it. So, you go like this. Oh, wow. I did have it. There. So then, I told you I gotta pack the batteries. You pull it out the the bubble wrap. Oh, it's got tape on there, so be careful peeling that off. Whoa! So now that you have the bar battery compartment off and the batteries out of the tape you want to look at the batteries because there's a plus sign positive a minus sign negative and um on the compact it'll say what side is which so like on this i put the positive up so that's like this i think Nope. So you want to put that one in first, which that's at negative and the site's positive. So that means like that. Then you've got it in. So you just want to put the battery compartment back on. Got it back on. So the final thing is putting in some film. So like I said before, put in film. Mine did not come with film, so you want to buy film yourself. And be careful with the film because you don't want it to like go all bad or scrap. 
So, just gonna open up my film. So if I open it like this, but this way it seems a lot more convenient. Yeah, this way it's way more convenient. So, there are instructions on this as well. So, you wanna tear it open? What's this? Oh, you just wanna tear it open like this. Um, um, it's got a yellow in here, so you take off that, and you wanna line that yellow up with the yellow right there. Our attempt to line it up. it up there will be a red light and then I think it showed how many shots I have I think so it's indicating that I'm in the house which is right and let's say that you want to have it cloudy though it's gonna be on cloud so mine is on in the house that's when you're outside and it's cloudy that's when you're outside and it's sunny that's when you're outside and it's really, really sunny. And that's if you just want a brighter picture or so. And mine says in the house, which is correct. But let's say you want it cloudy. It's going to be cloudy. It's just going to still shine on the house because it's the camera suggesting that should be the one you should use. So, um, that's how you put it together. And I guess I could take a picture. You want to be very delicate with the film because that's very sensitive. So, well, I'm gonna take a pic. Don't be worried if this comes out. This is the opening of a film. This is not film. This is just opening on the film. So your next picture will be the film, and yeah, and uh, so let's pretend this was a film, it comes out, you want to, I think it came out this way, you want to grab it, and you want to just lay it down. You don't want to shake it, because that can mess up any, it's basically like a regular Polaroid camera, just with a whole other name. And these instructions are pretty clear too, so yeah, it's not hard. Don't peel off the stuff of the film. Uh, this stuff is kind of cool. And you can also do a portrait. Oh. You can do one like that. I gotta find my thing. You can go like this way, that way, that way, either way. And this is a really good camera to start off with. And the film is very expensive, so don't just be wasting your cameras on pictures that you don't want. Unless you're a rich kid, and, um, I'm not a rich kid, but, um, yeah. And to go over this, you just open, you press that, shoot, and this tells you where to go, and there's like a little circle centering which way you should go, and that's what color you want it on. So, I might take a picture today, because I'm going outside, and, um, I will post it. Um, I don't have an Insta I don't have anything, but it'll probably, if I create, take a lot of pictures, I'll probably create a collage, and I'll post it on, uh, um, YouTube, and just show you guys that, and, um, yeah, and you can follow me on Crafty Amino under the account Soccer34, and also on Art Amino, and thanks for watching, thanks for watching.